Oh, hello, friend. Hello, new friend. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a warm welcome. Is there another guy up there to throw things at me? You guys seem to really like freaking Molotov so far. I can't blame you. It's like I'm getting karmic justice for all the times I threw Molotovs at people in basically every level of, uh, of uh, dying light. This is a creepy dead horse there. Ew! Horse skull. Oh god! Doggies, why? Oh, there's a guy back here. Hello, hello, surprise guy. Ow! Oh, I'm gonna get stuck here. Let's just get back outside where I can see. And go into sword mode. Blammo! How's that for a transform kill? Transformers. Swords that are in disguise as other swords. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Alright. Anyone else gonna... Anyone else want some? Getting creaking noises I don't like. Was that person clearly there, or did they, like, stand up? They must have been... I must have thought they were a corpse. I don't feel like there was a standing person in line of sight, but I could have been wrong. I need some light. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice visual to lure everyone towards me. Can I burn this hay bale? No? That would have been cool. Just light this whole barn on fire. Can't be ambushed in here anymore. I burned the whole fucker down. Check that, video games. Hey, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to whip mode. Cause at least I have- I, I could use the, uh, the second form of this- of this weapon while- it, Oh, I see- Oh, no. Oh, you bait. You're bait. You're bait and I'm still gonna get you. I'm still gonna get you. Hey, buddy. I've been having- I'm fighting you with a lot of great swords lately, so I don't really know how effective this weapon type's gonna be. I guess we'll learn. I'm behind you, bitch. Ow. Rude. Oh, you're down. Alright. He's not too tough. More gemstones for me to check out. I kind of just... I tend to just use those. Uh, I mean, I, I don't really... I don't, I don't stop to, to look at gemstones just because there's so many of them. We'll find out how the stats work out later. Where is this going to head to? Here we go. Hup, 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 hup. Yeah, that's what I do in real life. Just go running across. That's safe. Oh, it's another gun guy. He just has a shotgun or something? I feel like I'll be fine. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's alive! Fixed. <laughs> there you go. Now you won't be living off your pa your uh, children anymore for medical benefits. I really did you a favor. Keith is in favor of the euthanization of all older people. Apparently. Uh, Madman's knowledge is my reward for going all this way. Okay. I mean, I w I'll give you that. I'm probably mad. This, this is a nice... T this, is an, um, this makes me really happy the torch exists in this game. This is a nice visual. This is a cool time to whip it out. Although, it does mean you can't use any two-handed weapons, though. So you have to use the, f the first form of, like, half the game's weapons, I think. We coming back outside now? Oh, this is spooky looking. Alright. Get back into greatsword mode. Hey, everybody. Everybody, everybody. Is there anything over here, or is this just like a weird dead end? Does this break? That doesn't break? Maybe if I hit it really hard. Nope, doesn't seem to break. That doesn't seem to go anywhere. I don't think I can safely drop down anywhere. We'll hug the edge and take a look at where it goes. This is all discolored weirdly. Is it gonna collapse? Like in a Hanna-Barbera cartoon? Like, it's a different color, that means it's gonna collapse. It's gonna move. That's a dead end, okay. What do we have over here? Oh, is that gonna collapse? Oh, hey, friendy. Hey, friend. Hello, hammer friend. Goodbye, hammer friend. One shotting them really takes the oomph out of it, doesn't it? <laughs> is this gonna? Is this lead somewhere? No, not really. Alrighty then. Hey, nasty. How you doing? You having a good old time? Having a grand? Okay. The, the, if you're not gonna pay attention to me, I'm just gonna wander over here now. Ooh, what's that? Oh, he got a gun. He got a big, nasty gun. Okay. Oh, more giants, okay. Get out. I need to clear space to play with giant men. Give us our space. Come here, buddy. It was very polite of you to walk directly into that. You too, but you too, woman. Oh god, it didn't work out. I, I misspoke. I was early talking about the benefits of her being gullible. Cause she hit me in the face. Here comes a doggy. Fast mode. Hey, doggy, where it has a horrifying tusk mouth thing. What did they do to you? Ow. Did you just shove me? It's like, don't hit my dog. Uh. 
He just shoves me across the room like, Don't do it! It's mine! What are you doing? Hey friend. No, 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 no. I don't like it. I don't- Oh, bye. Bye. Oh, oh, what? That was a better throw than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> I wasn't prepared, prepared, prepared for someone to, to more- Oh god. Did she just go for a grab? I don't like that at all. Get out of here. No likey. Let's see here. She really did go for a grab. Go back to torch mode as we go in here. Any surprises hanging out up here? Oh, that's a lot of bodies. I guess the plague has been taking a lot of people. Is there a beast around here? I'm hearing breathing. Heavy breathing. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, there are axe people. Oh, there's two of them. That's a little more dangerous. Everybody get dangerous. Alright. Alrighty then. Huh. If I'm lucky I get a nice overhead swing off on this guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. There we go. It's super effective. Let's switch to chain mode. Hey, buddy. Just want to mix things up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> there we go. One guy got the great sword kill. One guy got the repost kill. Don't say I never got you anything. Wow, that was a lot of blood for one dude. Oh! Oh shit, Maltow guy's down here. How did I miss you? It's, you, you just blend in with all the gray. Because everything's gray around here, apparently. Pull out the torch again. What's our reward? More blood! Ooh, and we can open another shortcut! Uh, Alright. So now we can take the elevator, then probably run through this gate. And now we'll skip most of this level up to this point. Good for us. This is a big open area. Oh, I see that dog over there on the right. Hey, doggy, doggy, doggy. I'd really appreciate if you aggroed on me before something else went went down around here. Oh, 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 god, there's more dogs. There are more dogs than I was prepared for, and they're dead now. Alright, crisis averted. Oh, oh, camera, you need to lock, your, need you to lock on really quick. Taken care of. I'm not really cool with the number of spikes that they just, like, jabbed into these dogs, like... This is a battle dog! It's covered in blades! Because it doesn't have opposable thumbs, so we just, like, made it a weapon itself. Its whole body is dead. Like, it has- it has- it clearly has blades all over its back and in, and its mouth. For the point of, like, like, for- among other things, like, it could run under a horse and, like, eviscerate it from- from underneath. And all of its organs would fall out. Just like in Game of Thrones. The, uh, the book. Not- not- did that- that part didn't happen in the- in the, uh... In the in the TV show, not a lot of horse eviscerations in the television show, as it turns out. Where is this going to go to? I have a whole other path to check out too. After this one, just a mysterious item out here. Just feels like a trap. I guess there's just so many enemies around here that at any point there could have been something that would sneak up on me. Lake rune, carefully turn away. There we go. Just get away from the ledge real quick before we check it out. Lake. One of the lake runes. We already had Dissipating Lake, which is bolt damage. This is physical damage reduction. Oh, cool. Transcription of the Great Ones in Human Voices ripples in like a water reflection. This rune means lake, and those who memorize it re enjoy reduced physical damage. Great volumes of water serve as a bulwark for uh, guarding sleep and an augur of the Eldritch Truth. Alrighty then. So where are we going to go? Is there anything just stashed around here? I think that, that rune was about all this was leading to. Alright, we're back to having one path. This is a surprisingly linear and cent like centrally focused area so far. There's been a few people leaving comments along the lines of like, You're playing the zones in the wrong order and you gotta play this and do this next and you can't do them in other orders and like, I don't get those comments. It's like, do you specifically want Dark Souls to become a super linear game where you have to do stuff in a specific order in order to play it right? Quote unquote. <laughs> That's weird to me. Like, just to fuck around in, in, a, in my New Game Plus playthrough of Dark Souls 2, I jumped straight into the gutter before even going into uh, the Tower of Flame or going into the uh, Forest of Fallen Giants. Like, in, in, my Dark, in my Dark Souls 2 playthrough on New Game Plus, I actually... I, like, I have not beaten uh, the last giant yet, but I've already defeated Vendrick, for example. And in my Dark Souls 1 playthrough, I, 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 did, uh, I did 
the four kings before I even did Sam's Fortress. Because that's just cool. You can do stuff in weird orders, and it's crazy. So I, I don't I don't agree with the idea that you can do stuff in uh, have to do stuff in specific orders. If you had to do stuff in specific orders, we wouldn't be playing this game. We'd be playing some game that's a giant hallway. It'd be Final Fantasy 13, the poopening, or whatever the hell that game was called. Hey, buddy. And I'm ready for you. Ow. You hurt me. Backing off. There we go. Ow. The funny thing is half the time they, we hit each other at the same time, so I don't even lose hit points. I should be using the blood of Adala. I guess I, I guess I must be waiting for a big fight to use it on. Or oh, I forgot about it. Both valid interpretations of the situation. What's things like in here? More bodies. You guys might have a few issues to work out amongst yourselves if you want to consider it a bit. Yeah, that's a lot of bodies. Carefully wrapped like tor terrifying Christmas presents. What's going to happen down here? I don't know if I'm walking towards a boss fight or what. Beware of the unseen. They're invisible enemies or just like an ambush? Huh. Beware of the unseen. I guess, I mean, the best I can do is just walk in here and see what happens, right? Maybe go upstairs a little bit. Oh shit, there's a boss in here. I didn't know we were getting ourselves into a boss fight. Oh, it's one of these guys again. That, that might not be too tough unless she has some cool trick. Is she just the same enemy again? I don't know what to expect here. Hey lady, you seem violent. You having a good time? You having a grand old time? That didn't do it. Oh, that's you're not the boss. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. That's not the boss, that's just some enemy. Where the boss at? Where the boss at? Also, it's not here. Is there like an invisible enemy? Is that the enemy? There's a weird mummy person up there. Oh. Oh, look at you. I see you. Oh, there's another one coming at me. Alright, it's a good thing they, they got me practice fighting these guys, because apparently I'm going to have to deal with a number of them now. Hey, buddy. You have surprising range, and I gotta be really careful about that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This combo's way longer than I thought it was. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they'll do like three or four hits, and then I'll come in. It's like, nope, that combo's still coming straight at me. Hey, witch. Alright. So there was like a flare of red earlier. I assume that was supposed to give away the witch's location, who's running, who's running around invisible somewhere, or right here. Hey, lady. How's it going? Yeah. Oh. So the question is, is she invisible, or does she just disappear? Like, does, does the game just, di like, di does the game delete her in that moment, or is she genuinely invisible and I could hit her if I found her? Oh, sorry, I did a backstab on you. Wow, does she heal, or is this, is this gonna be a very short fight? Do you have an interesting trick, or are you the same dude? Oh, did I see someone swinging around over? Oh. Is there an invisible dude over there? I don't like that one bit. I don't like that at all, Sam. I am. All right, bye. Just gonna start swinging away. Was there a guy in here? Is that is that the is that the enemy? Yeah. Oh, is she dead now. Is that another one? What's going on? I don't understand what my life means anymore. Ow. Oh shit. That was a surprise. I might have to actually heal now. Yeah. Oh, there's two of you. What? How many witches are there? Oh, interesting. There could be like a whole bunch of witches potentially. Oh, there's more enemies behind me. Hello, surprise. Nice to meet you. I start cleaving your face off now. Don't mind me. I'm just ending you. You're, oh, you're, you're still alive. And I missed apparently, but you hit me. Go figure. What? Oh, you're not dying. Are you invincible? Oh, and now he's dead. Okay, they die eventually. Maybe I just like a glancing blow and I just thought I hit them. Was that a bad guy? That's the corpse. Witchy, 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 witchy. Hick! I see you. There's two of you now again. What's the light mean? Oh, is that you? I see you. Just take a quick break from being alive. There we go. Are they reviving each other? What's going on there? I don't know. Bye, Bert. Bye, friend. Uh oh, that's not good. That's gotta be, please, please don't be one-shotting me. Please don't one-shot me. That'd be really unfortunate if she could one-shot me like that. 
There we go. Hit them both at once. Hit them both at once. Finish him. So far, it doesn't seem like a hard fight, but I don't know. I also don't know the, necessarily know the trick to winning it. Uh oh. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Yeah. I'm mashing. Every, I'm mashing buttons to try to end it. Where the witch at? Where the witchy 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 at? Come on. Oh, I s oh! Get out! Get out! No! 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 She's trying to club me with a tiny spoon. It's a scary spoon. Ow! I should have rolled away faster. Oh! Get in there. Finish her or something. Did I, oh, she's dead, but there's another one now. Is the first one back alive? Are you over here? Yes, you are. Did I win? Is it over? Oh, it is over. Okay. Okay, that was an easy fight. Bloodshot Eyeball, the Witch of Hemrick. Hemmick. Alright, I'm gonna say easiest fight so far, by like a mile. All you have to do is fight an enemy you've already learned how to fight over and over again. And then... So there's an invisible enemy somewhere that sometimes stuns, I guess, but that's about it. Alright, we'll see what's down there in a moment. I'm gonna go back to town to level up. Alright, so Cold Blood Dude times three. Blammo. And then number four, oops. I had, I had a whole bunch of those I needed to use in a stack. There we go. Oh, that blood. So, I shouldn't be able to level up either of my weapons right now. Because I think they both, re yeah, they both require stone, sh bloodstone chunks. I need three. I have one, unfortunately. It's the best I can muster. Oh, well. We're, in a, we're not in a bad situation overall. So, let's see what kind of levels I can buy. Very well. Part of the question now is do I, fo do I keep focusing on s skill, which may have diminishing returns at this point? It would increase my weapon one. Oh. It would affect. It would affect both of my weapons and damage, increasing one of them by three damage and one of them by four damage, and also giving me... Dex yeah. Skill is still paying off. My new weapon scales well enough with skill that it's actually still worth putting points into, apparently. Farewell, good hunter. Nice talking to you, lady. Alright. Go ahead and spend some souls. Just on whatever I feel like could be... Urns! Blammo! There we go. I just don't like running into new zones with too many souls. If it's like, if it's not even a level's worth of souls, let's just blow that shit on something. And we'll see where it, what it turns into. None of these look, these all look, uh... None of those look new. Where's my new one? Oh, okay. So the new zone I've been running around in still counts as the, uh, the forest zone, just like the woods, the forbidden woods we were in earlier. So let's get back to the witch's abode and see what we, what's beyond that portal. We still have to go right from the cathedral, too. There's so many paths. Welcome back to where the witch resides. <laughs> So we're gonna find down here. Was that supposed to be a hard fight? I get the feeling it wasn't supposed to be hard for anyone. Like that fight seemed to be roughly in the same territory as like a uh, wonder special item. That fight seemed to be in the same territory as like sp the the Ma Mag Magus and Congregation or uh, Pinwheel. What's gonna be in here? Hello. Oh, this is a dead end. Alrighty then. This, uh, this someone was tied up and experimented on, maybe? Maybe tortured? Ruin workshop tool! What? I just blew all of my my blood on... I'm probably gonna need blood now. Or maybe I won't. You can probably just equip that stuff. We'll take a look around. Is there anything I... Nothing, nothing else seems interactive. Alright. Guess I'll be warping back to town again. Alright, we have the rune workshop tool. Which I believe is here. Memorize a carol, rune to acquire its eldritch strength. How many can we equip? So many. We don't have any oath memories, unfortunately. But we have three other slots to go through, so... I have a lot of options here. 5% hit points, 10% stamina, one more health vial, uh... Visceral attacks heal you, not a bad idea. More blood echoes from visceral attacks. Physical damage reduction incoming. Bolt damage reduction. Frenzy resistance, slow poison resistance. And more echoes from slain enemies. Temporary boost transformation. I'm gonna go with... Let's go more echoes. And... Let's see... Slow poison resist seems like a good move, because slow poison is just freaking nasty, and it seems to be a common thing. And I'm probably gonna go for... Visceral attacks to restore hit points. There we go. I do visceral attacks every now and then. Having them cap off my hit points would be really handy, because then I don't... That means less blood vial consumption. Slow poison resistance will help keep me alive. 
And, uh, Marekos from Slain Enemies, that just seems like a smart thing of like, Hey, you level up faster and get more resources all the time. Yeah! So does that show up right away on my, uh, resistance level? Yep, my slow poison resistance is now 120, uh, 222. Which is pretty freaking sweet. That means I can focus on purely on whatever has the highest defense, probably. And just go for that. This guy, this one's got the pop collar. <laughs> Cause yeah, I don't need to worry. I don't, I, lightning, lightning damage isn't really a thing so much. So at this point, the thing is to focus on really whatever I think looks cool potentially, and also whatever has the highest physical resistance. Admittedly, not that many enemy, not that many things apply when it comes to the the resistance thing. I, I do like I do like, I like this hat in particular because it kind of looks like it has wings, and that's just kind of a neat little thing to add in. Let's see, Yarnum Hunter gloves. We'll go for this one. Probably hunter trousers. They're usually the best ones. Yeah. All right. Back to th back to this general look, because I have slow poison resistance built in now, which is the most common status effect that I've been facing, and now I don't have to deal with uh, prepping my resistances. So now we're gonna go back to the cathedral ward, and we're gonna go right this time past those two hunters we fought and see what happens next. <laughs> 